My name is Chris Trotter. I'm from Stafford Architecture and I'm the project architect for Jewel House. The clients came to us with the desire to create a family home that was modest in size, had an overall sense of sanctuary and separation from the busyness of their lives. We approach that in the sense of creating almost a living sculpture for the family to reside in after their busy days. Rose Bay is a very family-oriented suburb, connected well to the east and the beaches, but also sits in between the inner city suburbs of Sydney. The site sits elevated, fortunate enough to have really gorgeous views of Sydney Harbour and the Harbour Bridge, as well as the city skyline. And the site itself is difficult in the sense that it sits in front of an intersection along a busy road. It does have a lot of environmental and privacy exposure issues. It was those constraints that made the design challenge all the more exciting for us. One of the biggest considerations that we made from the get-go was about how we could open the house up to the gorgeous views. So tucking the house back towards the rear of the block meant that we were able to still take advantage of the views, but also create that sense of sanctuary. We were able to elevate the bedrooms above and essentially use the bedrooms as a way to protect the living areas. Views to the harbour are incredibly important in this house. However, we also felt as if views internally to gardens and through spaces were just as important to provide a sense of connectedness and intimacy in a layered way throughout the home and create almost a waste at the entrance of the house where all of the spaces came together with a home and a design that was so reliant on beautifully executed architectural detailing. We needed a really close collaborative approach between us and our builder. Hi, my name is Joe Feuder from Innovative Building Services. I've been building high-end homes for the last 30 years. The first thought that as soon as I saw the plans, it was different to every other home we've actually done for Stafford. As the home is split into two, as you look at it from the front, it was having the curved walls, the curved skylights, the entrance with a curved seat, putting it to reality makes it very interesting on our behalf. With a curved wall, there's a lot more behind the scene than actually in front, because you only get one go at it. You actually got to think way, way, way ahead to actually all flow in the same line. We tried to minimise the amount of joints we've had in the actual curved glass to try to get that flow so we could see through to the harbour. The clients absolutely love honest natural materials. So the use of travertine, natural oak and hardwood timbers around the home was really important to them. We named the house Jewel House because we approached it like a small, precious object. It is finely detailed, the materiality is incredibly important, and the way that it accepts light was so fundamental to how it was viewed. So approaching the house like a sculpture with gorgeous curves that naturally move you through the space and light that follows you throughout the day meant that the home was ever-changing and that sense of movement and tranquility amplifies the experience. We've made really good use of skylights in order to bring light to wash over the southern walls of the home and create a curious detail and play with concrete. The idea of sculpture was definitely taken throughout all scales of the home, from 
the large architectural moves to the finer joinery details. The powder room itself is a true surprise in the home. We wanted it to be almost like a jewel within Jewel House. It's not a huge space, but it's accentuated in the verticality of the mosaics used. On the upper level sits the study. The study is a really special space. You look through the entry foyer, through the off-form concrete wall, out to the view. It creates in itself a picture frame of the harbour, which just perfectly highlights the harbour bridge. With every other part of the living area really embracing the views to the harbour, we felt as if the dining table could be flanked by landscape design to the east and to the west. So the courtyards act to bring greenery in. We worked very closely very early on with the landscape designers to create an interior design as well as an architecture that uses landscape design to layer and soften and create that sense of sanctuary that the clients were after so much. Seeing pen and paper and bringing it to reality, it's a dream come true. And seeing a smile to a client's face when they first walk in, it makes me feel that we've done everything to our best ability. The collaborative approach to every stage just made that entire process incredibly smooth, incredibly rewarding, and it feels great to deliver a home to people that love it so much.